Chapter 4 The First Shift The weekend arrived faster than Zaya wished, bringing her first lonely shift at the bakery. All morning she had lingered helping her father by the fire, dragging chores lest she be swallowed by the long dusk ahead. When at last she could delay no further, Zaya fetched her shovel and lantern with dread, gifting her mother a tight hug. Don't fret, child, came the soft reassurance. Master Kitaro will keep you safe as family, but as the forest swallowed her up between snowdrifts, Zaya felt anything but protected. Heavy clouds smothered the pale sun, casting an early twilight that deepened with each step towards town. The woods seemed denser now, trees crowding in on all sides as she hastened her pace. Movement caught her eye between thick trunks and Zaya flinched, lantern snuffing out in surprise. Heartbeat thundering loud as muffled crunches neared, she fumbled for tinder, begging flames to catch before the shadows took hold. Finally, a weak flame sputtered to life, flickering over a forest now empty once more. Relief was short-lived. Up ahead, the bakery windows glowed dim and Zaya hurried forward, yearning for the warm familiarity within. But as she climbed the creaking stairs and slid open the hanging door, a sense of wrongness sank in. Where was Kataro's usual bustle and hearty greeting? An unnatural stillness greeted her instead, broken only by popping embers in the brick oven. Zaya called out cautiously, but her small voice echoed back unanswered. Anxiety climbed as minutes passed in silence. Foolish worries, she chided, retrieving Broom to sweep away her fears. Still, the unsettled feeling lingered as twilight deepened the eerie hush. Outside, skeletal trees creaked and swayed like bending stalks of wheat. Zaya shivered and pulled closer to the fire's warmth, determined not to let imagination wander. A noise jerked her around, broom clattering aside. Frozen, she peered into pooling shadows, willing the nothingness there to remain unchanged but slowly wisps coalesced into a form all too familiar, though gaunter and paler than before. Yoichi stared, eyes sunk black in his wan face. A smile stretched his blue lips, too wide, too sharp to be friendly. Zaya, you came to play at last. His tone sent chills through her bones. No, she breathed. I came to work, that's all. The specter drifted nearer, skeletal hands grasping wild hair flowing about his thin shoulders. But I'm lonely, Zia. You're my only friend left in this cold, empty place. His breath was deathly cold against her cheek now. Please stay and play a while. Heart pounding, Zia edged towards the open door, eyes never leaving the specter's starving black gaze. I, I'm sorry, Yoichi, but I must finish my chores. Perhaps another time, she whispered backing out into the frigid night. His scream of rage followed her into the shadows, thrashing wildly at lantern flames as terror propelled her through the dark. Behind, unseen, the bakery shuddered with haunting as night fell over the woods in full 